Jaya Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is be like fire, my friend. We have a special guest today from the Inner Realms. Master Bruce Lee is going to come into incarnation and through my voice, through my body, express his deep truth. What Bruce Lee wants to say today is that he recorded a video a long time ago, which was be like water, my friend. Right? You remember this video. You saw it online, right? Well, the message for today is be like fire. Because it isn't just about water in life. You have fire as well. Fire gives you the power to impact, break, destroy, create new pathways in your mind and in your life. So be like fire, my friend. Be inf impactful. It's okay to be aggressive. Okay, back. Thank you, Bruce Lee. Wow, that, that felt nice. What happened? Did you notice anything? No. I mean, here's the thing. It is that um, we are made of all these different states of being, these different states of energy, these different elements, right? Playing with alchemy has a lot to do with being able to play with those different uh, elements. And so when you look at somebody's like Bruce Lee's life, right? Water was there, of course, there is fluidity and everything. And then there is impact, right? The fire is there as well. And then there is the earth, there is the grounding, the presence, the unstoppable, the unmovable. You see, be like a mountain. And then it's be free, be like air as well. Be in alignment with the spirit, with the deep sense of truth that lives inside of you. So, for this video, I want to invite you to check in. It's like, be like fire, my friend. Be like fire. What would you do if you had more fire, more energy, more resource, more access to this fire in your system? And realize that sometimes fire is needed. You know, if you are a water sign or if you are an earth sign or if you are an air sign, right? Fire in your system can get things to move and you can create and you can destroy, you can renew. There are lots of things that you can do with fire. So realize that it's good to be able to play with those different elements. Sometimes you want to be aggressive, okay? You want to be powerful in the way of reaching targets. You want to be impactful. And so, Realize that this is one of the, the, the core states of being that you can be in, right? If you look at the different sports, different ways of moving your body, you will realize that, for instance, within the martial arts, there is a lot of fire, there is lots of speed, there is lots of impactful, there is lots of intention, lots of determination in the moves, in the kicks, in the punches, in the way you are going to you know, just, just like hit an opponent. And so fire is an essential aspect, it's an essential element in your field. And uh, sometimes fire is the right response, is the energy that is going to allow you to break through. To break through. Sometimes it's water, sometimes it's being unmovable, like a mountain, like the earth. So this is earth sign, it's being like a mountain. Be unmovable like a mountain. Permanence. Mauna Loa, the highest peak on this mount, on this earth, right? In um, in Hawaii over there, it's higher than the Mount Everest because if you count all how this mountain expands in the water, it's like it reaches eleven thousand meters, higher than the Mount Everest. Okay, Mauna Loa is the permanent mountain, the permanent peak. This is like being like Earth. Okay, so be like fire is another state of being. Be like fire is being impactful. Lightnings are fire. They are a form of fire. Okay, you receive lightning. Think about the power of these lightnings. 
you have at any given time, I think on this on this earth, probably like 2,000 storms going on with lightning hitting the earth all the time. The earth is not just water and earth. There is fire hitting the earth. There is friction being created all the time. And so being in this state where you can You know, it's like entering into this state of energy where you feel the friction in your field, you feel the ambition, you feel the fire, you feel the impact. So my question for you is, are you able to access <coughs> a state of fire? Where are the situations that you would like, where you would like to bring in fire that you're not necessarily able to, to manifest or to access? And do you tend to be more I'm just fluid, like water. Are you more earth? Are you more air? Just suspend it in freedom, allowing just the winds to move you. See, those are really powerful questions because part of the energetic mastery in your field, it's being able to master those different states. So here is my message for you today. I want to challenge you this week. Just check, see what happens if fire starts manifesting in your field. A little bit like our friend Mount Tagung over there, not too far away, 40 kilometers from here, who is ready to blast and explode maybe soon. <laughs> you know, this is the energy of Bali rising and, you know, this powerful, explosive, energetic fire. The question for you is why? Why? Why is this volcano giving us a signal? Hmm? Fire, power, energy. See, something magical happened in uh, human evolution when we discovered fire, when we were able to create, maintain fire. It just activated something in our brains that speeded up uh, our human evolution. Um, the theory is that, is that because of the fire gave us power, it gave us an ability to, um, to, to be more, more powerful, to defend ourselves against you know, animals and be able to uh, to rest or relax instead of being on the on the defense or the lookout all the time. I'll tell you more about about this in another video, maybe one day. But for now, realize this: it's like a fire is a positive uh, quality to have in your field. So here's my message for you today: be like fire, my friend. Be like fire. I love you.